This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, next couple of days, next, you know, timing's on you. So, let's just see what we have for today. We're going to get one of these first. What do we have? My shirt's pushed down, huh? What? What do we have for a message today? Two cards. First one is Aries. So we're in Aries season. Aries season is about action. Okay, so it's action time. This is also Mars energy, which is explosive, disruptive change. Um, this is a headstrong energy um, and doing something for oneself. I am. I am. It's about me, right? That's what this is. So I would say that we have somebody here that is in a position where they are going to be doing something for themselves. It could be quite sudden. It could be quite abrupt. Um, there could be a fight. There could be an argument. There could be um, just a sudden desire to take swift action and you know it could be whatever is happening it could be disruptive and explosive it's about taking charge okay it is about taking charge to have structure Rejection is God's protection. The card speaks for itself, right? Rejection is God's protection. What do we have for a message today? Okay. Bag something important such as a new job or raise. So this could be a change in your income. Your career. Your living situation even. Anything that affects... I think it's your money. Something important, such as a new job or raise. Somebody's, and it doesn't have to be a job or a raise. It can be something tangible as well. Somebody is making a decision. This decision's probably best for everybody involved. This decision could be coming from uh, somebody in a position of authority, kind of like the judge, the boss, the father, the leader. The one that is, um, could be a masculine energy. Either way, somebody is making a decision that is best for everyone involved. There probably is a rejection that is associated with this decision. I feel like I have a hair in my eye. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Somebody needs to defend themselves, protect themselves. We may have somebody here that is doing something. They could be doing something for money. People do it all the time. They'll do anything for money. So somebody could be doing something for money. And, you know, you need to protect yourself. You need to have security.
Let's get one more. Oh, this is, has to do with happiness. This is about happiness, taking charge, taking a stand, making a choice in regards to happiness. It's kind of like taking a defensive approach. Let's get one of these. But there, there's a rejection that comes with it. Maybe somebody's taking action because they have been rejected. Maybe they're doing it out of animosity. That's what I just heard. It will be seen very clearly, okay? Because I feel like there's a judge involved, and there could be a judge involved. Somebody's actions and their motives are going to be seen very, very clearly. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Oh, the emperor. Authority. I fight authority. Authority always wins, right? Anyhow, this is somebody that is very strong and determined. This is your judge, leader, boss. I just told you about it. Okay, so this is about authority. Making a decision. It's about the facts, okay? And I feel like we have somebody, because I feel like there's a reaction to a rejection here. It's kind of like when you get in front of a judge. Does The judge is all about the facts, all about the truth, okay? And a lot of times people make their decisions based on their emotions. Judge can't do that. Rejection is God's protection. It's action time. Hmm. There's some sort of angel protection here as well. There could be a change in position as well. We have somebody here that sees something very, very clearly. It's, it's easy to see. It's interesting. Rejection is God, God's protection. Right underneath that is shield. Shield is protection. There's something about protection. What do we have for a message today? Six of Pentacles reverse. Somebody has abused their power. It's something about protection and rejection. This is rejection. You know, I wonder if they're, and I feel like what you reap, what you sow, right? Something could be taken away and given to somebody else. There's been an abuse of power, an abuse of generosity. Somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. Maybe it was given to the wrong person. This is a rejection. Could be a loss of a job. Could be not getting the raise. Um... Not getting the position could be a change in position. Um, maybe somebody has been doing illegal work or um, maybe even taking credit for somebody else's work. Oh, let's cut this deck. The Empress upright, and then the Magician reversed. This is a liar. This is somebody that um, is very sneaky, a trickster, a master manipulator. This is a no answer. This is a creator. 
this is somebody that, you know, creates new life, we may have the birth or conception of something new. Maybe we have somebody here that is no longer going to be giving or receiving what they were. Maybe there's a change in leadership. Anyhow, the magician reverse, lack, lack of resources, loss of resources, loss of power. I do believe there is a power shift. Now, the empress is the goddess of love and abundance. It comes to her easily. She doesn't have to do anything. Just create with tender, loving care. Hmm. There's a lack of awareness. Somebody is unaware. What you send out comes back. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow, right? What you send out comes back. That's a six of that's the six of pentacles reversed. That's where you reap what you sow. And the magician reversed as well. And there is somebody here that has had bad intentions. Maybe they've been, you know, delusional or they've had a dysfunctional mind or, you know, something like that. There's definitely a rejection. Now, we may have an empress that has rejected somebody. I mean, we have an empress and an emperor here, so it could go either way. Four of wands. Four of wands is about happiness, home, commitment, stability, foundations, get-togethers. Some, And this is definitely about happiness. Somebody's not receiving happiness. They're not getting what they deserve. Somebody, maybe somebody's just been getting crumbs or they've been, haven't been getting rewarded. There's a lack of reward here. There's no reward, there's no reciprocation, or there's a one-sidedness. Maybe there's been a lot of lies, deception, manipulation. Three of Pentacles reverse. This is a lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness. Um, not on the same page. Disrespect, lack of appreciation. Somebody's been working with somebody that doesn't appreciate them or they don't put in any effort. They don't do the work. They don't work as a team, you know. There's definitely somebody here that d disrespects others and is not easy to work with. This is somebody that may sit on a very high horse. We may have a know-it-all here. Somebody's not receiving any appreciation. They're not re for what they've given or whatnot or so, or, yeah. There's somebody here that is really, really hard to work with. They just, maybe they don't collaborate well. Maybe they're malicious. Higher power. Wow, hero font reversed. The Hierophant reversed is a relationship that's not on the same page. Could be a divorce, could be a funeral, could be the end of a commitment. There's commitment issues, relationship problems. Um, we have somebody here that maybe doesn't believe, you know, doesn't believe. Maybe they don't believe in a higher power. Rejection is God's protection. That's interesting. Maybe we have somebody who just doesn't believe, right? They don't believe. Maybe they don't believe in their value they or they didn't.
there's poor counsel here. We have somebody here that has been having a very hard time. And there is a disgrace. This is a disgrace of some sort. Somebody has been listening to poor counsel. They've received some poor guidance. And there's, 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 it's like there's too many rules or, or restrictions or that has been holding somebody back from making the decisions. Maybe it was a previous commitment or obligation or belief or something like that. King of Cups reverse. Now the King of Cups reverse is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. Maybe this person is, is withdrawing right now or they already have. This is typically somebody that does not communicate. Uh, maybe doesn't have good intentions. Uh, maybe feeling empty. May, may not have anything to give. No emotion. Doesn't care. Not literally. Literally emotionally unavailable. There's nothing to give. Okay. Um, we may have somebody here that has been in a third party situation, maybe it, whether it's work or friends or love with somebody just for outside appearances. Six of Swords Reverse. Six of Swords Reverse is refusing to take a new approach, refusing to move on. Um, trouble, mental trouble, mental turmoil, hostilities, fighting, wanting to prove oneself, highly egotistical, won't move on. We may have somebody here that is also obsessed. Not mastering their emotions, having a hard time because of social pressure, maybe social media breaks the rules maybe you know wants to have an unconventional relationship that kind of thing rejection is god's protection there's no going back somebody keeps going back to something or they want to go back or they're refusing to move on they're not listening uh they're li they're letting their emotions control the situation and that is the king of cups reverse that is where emotions are in control There's somebody here that is literally emotionally unavailable. They're not communicating or they're not collaborating or they're not, they're disrespectful or they don't appreciate or they're not giving because they have commitment issues or they don't want to follow the rules or they want, maybe they haven't moved on from something fully, oh, you know, fully. Maybe they're still um, in their ego, you know, or something like that. Refusing to listen, listening to poor counsel, refusing to move on, refusing to believe. There's no faith here. Maybe there's no faith in commitment, no faith in, in love. I also feel like we have somebody here that has been emotionally manipulative. Not listening to their intuition, not listening to their gut because or they've been emotionally manipulated and the other person has not been listening to their intuition they have not been listening to their gut it's like they've been letting their own emotions hold them back held back with the six of swords reverse it's time to create it's time for a new life it's time to move on it's time to wake up it's time to take action it's time to uh have love and abundance but you have to move on maybe it's time to open up listen open up your heart if you want to be happy you got to follow your dreams you need to communicate you need to collaborate you have to give to receive right that's interesting somebody has not been receiving any appreciation from an individual that I don't know, doesn't love them, isn't committed. 
Maybe this person's already married or already attached or something like that. I mean, something's going on here. It's time for a change. It's time to move on. It's time to listen. It is. It's about your happiness. You have to take charge of your own happiness. Hmm. Justice reversed. So there's karma here. This is consequences. This is you reap what you sow. Unbelievable. There's something happening here. Something is coming back around. Something that uh, happened in the past is coming back around. There's an injustice here. There's unfair treatment. There's lies. There's deception. There is manipulation. Somebody's not acting with integrity. They're having a very hard time doing the right thing. Um, they just soon lie about it and cause trouble and maintain their position instead of admitting. But there is a higher authority involved with the emperor. This is somebody that is looking at somebody's lies, looking at somebody's deception. They're looking at somebody's motives as well. Rejection is God's protection. There's no balance. There's disharmony. There's somebody here that is lying about their happiness, and that's for damn sure. There could be an argument with no resolution in sight. There's an imbalance here. There's, the, there's something that I don't know, there could be infidelity, there could be unfaithfulness, there could be cheating, there, there's definitely lying going on, deceptive behavior. And I feel like there's somebody here that doesn't believe in karma, or doesn't believe in truth, or doesn't believe that they'll get caught, or something like that. Something is coming back around, you reap what you sow. There's disrespect, there's disharmony, there's... a lack of responsibility, irresponsibility here. There is. Somebody is not accepting any responsibility. Very, 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 very stubborn. You need to defend yourself. We have somebody here that also may be obsessed. They are obsessed. They may be doing something. It could be an injustice because they're not receiving any communication or collaboration. Maybe they've been rejected. I do feel like we have somebody here that has been rejected that is acting on their emotions and they're causing trouble. They could be working with two other people. But I feel like, like I said, what goes around comes around. They could lose their job. They could lose their position. They could lose their money. You know, karma works in mysterious ways. There's indecisiveness here. We have somebody here who needs to listen to their gut. They need to believe in themselves. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. You need to master your emotions. You need to focus on your own happiness. Don't give your time and energy to anything, okay, that isn't balanced, that isn't reciprocal, that is one-sided. One more card. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is independently owned and operated, living a very good life. This is somebody that is very capable of taking care of themselves. This may be a business owner, an entrepreneur. This is somebody that is very, very skilled, that works hard to achieve success. 
that has the skills to achieve success. This is living a very good life, having plenty, nothing to worry about. There is a shift here. There is a shift with the Six of Pentacles reversed, absolute injustice reversed. There's a realignment here. What goes around comes around. I feel like there could be something also that is coming back. Maybe it was given to somebody else and now it's coming back around. Maybe there's a missed opportunity here. Anyhow, the Nine of Pentacles is taking independent action, taking soul action. This is somebody that has the skills to be successful. This is somebody that works hard to be successful. And the time is ripe. Okay, and this is independence. This is somebody that can take care of themselves and work independently. This is not somebody who is codependent. This is somebody that is independent. Somebody may be becoming independent. We may have the end of a contract here. Okay, justice reversed. Okay, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight. There could be a fight over commitment or beliefs. Or this may even have to do with governments or corporations as well. Somebody in a higher up position is making a decision about who they're going to give to, who they're going to work with. You know, um, this may ha also have to do with people that lack integrity. There definitely could be a loss here that leads to abundance. Again, we had the Empress in the cut. The Nine of Pentacles is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Arcana, however you want to say it. Okay, this is somebody that knows their value. That's the, the self-worth, self-value, self-respect. Somebody has had no self-value, self-worth, self-respect. And they have been disrespected by somebody that doesn't work well with others. Maybe this person just wants to play. Doesn't want to do the work. Anyhow, I would say get prepared for, I want to say, a sudden, abrupt, explosive change. This does lead to abundance. And it's like there's no going back. Good luck.